This is not the typical pensioner's idea of fun. But 68-year-old retired archaeology professor Thierry Tillet is in his element. He has spent much of the last 47 years travelling across the Sahara and is now off on an adventure again. This time, the French archaeologist is in Mauritania, northwest Africa, tracing the route of old desert trade caravans. His journey will take him from Tichit to Walata, towns thousands of years old, which lie along the ancient routes. But before setting off, Thier has to organise his own caravan, which includes bargaining with his guides. Personally, I'm not that concerned about the food, but I check to see that there are enough water drums compared to the wells on the route, and I look at the camels. The archaeologist is well accustomed to these expeditions on camelback. He has done more than 70 of them. I examine the hump. If it has a good shape, nice and round, it means there is a lot of fat, and I check their knees to see they are good and sturdy. Ahead lies a harsh journey of 300 kilometers over 13 days. These days, instead of camel caravans, many researchers opt for four-wheel drive vehicles, which are more comfortable and cut back on the journey length. So what is it that makes Thier such a stickler for tradition? Le fait de, d'aller lentement. The fact that we move slowly on the ground and the pace of the camels allows me to observe things on the ground and spot things that I wouldn't if I was in a car. They go too fast. Et de repérer. En voiture, je ne pourrais pas le faire. Ça va trop vite. This caravan is made up of nine camels, led by three expert handlers, Ahmadou and his son Ahmed, as well as Shay. These men, from a small nomadic tribe called the Nemadi, do not speak French and Thier himself knows only a few words of their local dialect of Arabic, but they make it work. They are nomadis, wonderful people that I really get on with well. We don't understand everything the other says, but through drawings in the sand and hand gestures we get there. The nomadis roam the central region of Mauritania, living off of hunting in the middle of the desert. One of the three guides, Ahmadou, is familiar with the archaeologist's ramblings. This is the second time that I am traveling with Rabidin. Last time we went to Tichit Aratani, all the way to Ijafin. Tichit! Rabidin is a nickname given to the Frenchman by a traditional Tuareg chief on a previous expedition. The name has stuck with him on his desert trips. He follows in the footsteps of his mentor, Théodore Monod, a giant in French exploration of the Sahara. When Monod died in 2000, he passed a lifelong task on to Thier, locating an 11th century caravan storage camp. It was rediscovered in 1956, but never found again. When I arrive at an unknown site, the first thing I do is mark my position on the GPS. I get the lie of the land. I look around. Very often you find prehistoric artifacts thrown to the ground. In the Sahara, since everything lies in the open, you could easily step on it. So I look to see if there are any tools to try to figure out what they were. Thier takes samples, but is careful not to remove anything and spoil the sites. He has a special interest in prehistoric tools, ancient grave sites, and even fossilized animal droppings. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Five years ago, when I was last here, I spotted this guano, this built-up of droppings. This time I wanted to see if the built-up was still growing, if it was still active, but I see that it doesn't seem so. En fait, je m'aperçois que non, semble-t-il non. All right, we can go. I've got what I wanted. The caravan covers around 25 kilometers a day. Breaks are few and far between, a stop here and there for tea or for the camels to graze. Each pause brings the same ritual of unloading and reloading the camels, but they don't seem to enjoy it too much. <coughs> After a night spent under the stars, 
the members of the caravan wake up early to set off before sunrise. Over the past half century, TA has often found himself at the forefront of political rumblings in the region. In recent years, Islamic extremism has swept through the Sahel in North Africa. These developments have hampered TA's activities, but he's always been determined to adapt and overcome. I wouldn't go to Mali today, I'm not crazy and I feel no need to put myself in difficult situations. I'm no adventurer. As I've always said, I'm a scientist who is interested in the Sahara. But if it gets dangerous here, I'll go somewhere else. And when it gets dangerous there, I'll come back here. It changes constantly, back and forth like a pendulum. Since his retirement, TA funds his expeditions himself. There are many challenges, but he's willing to face them, especially if he gets to share the journey with a familiar face. I'd like to introduce an old friend. He goes by the name of Medbor, and he was my camel for a long journey two years ago in Mahabat al Kubra. Go on, say hello. There we go. He's saying hi. Bonjour. TA is currently planning a thousand kilometer expedition for 2021 when he hopes to spend a whole month in the desert. His journeys won't be ending anytime soon.